okay like uh, today we can see like how can we use value list and value group in python so so it's a, a kind of we can say it is a like a, a single form of a page list or page group so let's see how we can use in uh, uh, it's in Pega. I'll just give you in this style just before that uh, I'll create some properties for that like uh, type which of type uh, value list and value group so before I'll just uh, I don't know I'll just create uh, I'll just once again I'll create so that you can understand it see what I'm doing I'll just create two properties which of type uh, value group and value list let's say I'll create products let's say products is of type uh, uh, I can put it as a page list sorry value list let's see and also I'll create one more property mm, contact details okay so and also you can see this also you, from here also you can select like data type here recently yes instituted let's say you can select uh, type identifier password uh, what type of data it is data type is so let's create and open I'll select this as a value group okay mm, I'll open my one section <coughs> sorry see I'll add some two data types let's say I'll in, to input data types Uh, see what I can contact details so I required like main branch contact details and local branch contact details also right so I will select it as a main branch see whenever you giving some subscript right so whenever you select like a value group you should uh, yourself you, you need to pass like subscript for that let's say uh, if it is a main branch I'm selecting as main branch contact details so I should give subscript for that let's say I'm giving main branch there should be a no space no special character value using subscript so I used main branch contact details and also this I'll give as a local branch okay same property I'll use and here I can mention it has subscript as a local branch okay save and I'll create this see main branch contact details I'll say let's say I'll provide some value submit See, uh, I'll, I'll check my clipboard here. When you go in like a PY workpage, right? See, oh, I'll open my PY workpage. I'll expand it. See, in contact details, there is, see, this is a subscript which we have provided. It's a local branch and it is a main branch. See, the, in this way we can use a value group actually okay so it creates separate page with us uh, with the subscript which we have provided and let's say now we can see how we can go use like a value list so for this I'll use some one DT so in post processing of um, yes I'll use one DT let's open flow action For value list I am using D 
on dt i'll just setting this value so let's say dt set product details Let's say I just pass those values just to differentiate how you can differentiate like a value list and value group. So what I'll do is I'll just set some product for here. So let's say I'll append those values. Append. So no point. Then, see, I, as of now, I'll just take these the three properties <laughs> and I'll create case. Let's say I will create one case. I'll provide some random value for my contact details. <coughs> See? See, I'll check like my clipboard now. See when I when I expand my work page, right? I can see contact details which is of type let's say the subscript which we have provided here you can see right uh, value list let's see sorry I have not saved I believe let's say go on save this flow action where it is okay see sorry. I'll create one more case here see, I'll provide some random value submit clipboard see I expand my work page see now you can see products also in contact details the the subscript let's say you can see the local branch and main branch which we have provided when you open like product rights so in products so by default it has taken like one two three as array uh, when you pass an array right to num one two three so the subscript by default it has taken in value list so whereas in value group the subscript we have to provide so in this way you can uh, use value list and value group whenever you are implementing any kind of requirement. Thank you.